Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this question. If a quadratic equation can be factored, and each factor contains only real numbers, then there cannot be an imaginary solution, true or false. Take a moment to think about it. Let me know what you think down below. Well, what do we know about factoring quadratics? They said it can be factored, so that means it has to be in some form like this. Ax plus b, and then cx plus d, and then let's say it's equal to zero or some number, meaning it's in factored form now. Well, a, B, C, and D must be, well, real numbers. That's what I'm saying. It has to be contain those real numbers. So if we solve this, right, A, X plus B equals zero, and C, X plus D equal to zero. Well, solving that, you subtract a B to both sides, and A, X equals a negative B. Divide both sides by A, and X equals a negative B, A. Same thing here. Subtract D to both sides. CX equals a negative D. Divide both sides by C. And X equals a negative D over C. Well, if A, B, C, and D are all real numbers, then negative B divided by A must also be a real number. And negative D divided by C must also be a real number. We can't multiply or divide any two real numbers to get imaginary. It must be real. So this is actually a true statement, okay? So our final answer is, this is true. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.